you asked me, uh, am I an artist? Am I a furniture maker? I believe I'm a furniture maker. I, you know, that's what I've spent the last 25 or 30 years doing. I'm referred to now and then as an artist, and it feels good. But I have I have friends, you know, that are you know sculptors and painters, and they really approach their stuff differently. I, you know, I mean, Mel's got his little triple lock camel hair brushes, and God, he came in here one time, and I got all this big tool, all these big tools, you know, and I happened to be painting over there, and he walked over there, and he picked up a brush, he says, oh, Jesus, this is really a good brush, you know, and then here's a Tanowitz bandsaw, for Christ's sake, and I got the, I got the furniture guys come in here, and they go right to that bandsaw, man, and there's furniture all over the place, really good furniture, oh, what a great bandsaw, oh, nice furniture, Jesus, can I turn it on, you know, so uh, I suppose uh, I, I don't mind being called an artist, uh, but I don't mind being called a furniture maker either. And I, I don't know if I'm a decorative artist or not. I, I suppose I am. It's a long tradition, you know. And the way I've had it explained to me, there were no artists until, really until the French Impressionists. You know, Rembrandt was a, you know, a great artist, Caravaggio, but they didn't consider, they were, you know, they painted stuff. And they painted stuff for rich people and beautiful stuff but nobody cared about being an artist. Now everybody's got to be an artist today. You know, there is one art form, though, architecture. Good architecture is art, I think. But dancers, they're dancers, you know? Writers, they're writers. 